Hey guys, in this video I will be talking about Australian visa subclass 189, 190 and 489. These three are super important and it's very important to know about these three visas if you want to apply for permanent residency of Australia. I'll talk about the details, I'll also tell you the processing times for each of these visa subclasses. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Hu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel, I've got so many videos. Also, I do upload videos regularly every week, now almost every day. So if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, before I begin this video, let me tell you about the other video, which was the Australian PR step-by-step -step process. I uploaded this video a week ago. If you want to know about the process, you know, what all documents are required, how much time does it take. So the holistic view of the complete process, you can watch it, you can watch this video. You can visit my channel or I will also provide the link to this video in the description box. There was the other video also which was about the eligibility. So if you want to check, up, check out the eligibility, you can check that out as well. Right, so I'll discuss all of the three visa subclasses one by one. Let's talk about 189 first of all, which is also called Skill Independent Visa. Now this visa is for candidates who don't have any sponsorship for a state, territory, employer or a family member in Australia. The selection for this visa is done on the basis of your skills, experience, profile score since it is a point based visa. Now let's check out the eligibility criteria. To be eligible you must have a relevant occupation which must be listed in the in demand occupation list. You should also have a suitable skills assessment for the occupation meet the points test marks of 65 points minimum 65 points are required now you must be under 45 years of age have competent english and be invited by the government of australia to apply now the processing time for this is around nine months for most of the applications so it generally takes around six to nine months this is the general timeline Okay, now let's talk about the next visa subclass, which is 190, which is also called Skill Nominated Visa. This visa allows skilled workers who are nominated by an Australian state or territory government. To apply for this visa subclass, you need to submit an expression of interest and subsequently obtain a nomination. If you get the state nomination, five extra points would be awarded which is a big bonus and this will definitely help you to get the early invite. To be eligible, you must have a state nomination or the territory government nomination. So this is the one criteria which is actually different from the 189 list. All the criteria are same. Only this criteria is different. So I've highlighted it over here. Now the processing time is around six months which is considerably lesser than the 189 visa because you've been nominated by the province so in that case the government of australia trusts and you know they ensure that you reach australia as early as possible so six months is the time generally it takes from four to six months okay now let's talk about the last one which is visa subclass 49 it is also called skilled regional visa or the provisional visa visa sorry this visa <laughs> this visa allows skilled workers to live and work in regional or low population growth metropolitan areas of australia this visa is valid up to four years so guys this is here's the point to be noted the 189 and 190 visas are for the permanent residency but this is a provisional visa. It's not for the permanent residency. It doesn't entitle you to live in Australia permanently. It is only valid up to four years. There are three pathways to this visa. The extended stay pathway, the in invited way, the invited pathway and the subsequent entry pathway. 
Now let's check out the uh, the eligibility criteria which will actually explain these three points as well. To be eligible you must hold a subclass 475, 487, 495 or 496 visa. So if you have any one of these visa you can get the extended visa 489 which is the extended stay pathway or uh, you must be nominated by a state or territory government agency or be sponsored by an eligible relative so if in case you're sponsored by a relative in that case it would be an invited pathway you also should have a relevant occupation which should be listed in the occupation list have you should have completed your skills assessment for the occupation meet the points criteria of 65 points and the age of less than 45 years age and have competent English rest all rest everything is same it's just the difference in the starting so the processing time for this visa is about 10 to 11 months actually it's from like 8 to uh, 11 months that is for most of the applications so guys hope uh, you know now you know a bit more about these three visa subclasses I would make videos uh, you know very in very near, near future detail in a detailed video for each of these visa subclass explaining what are they all about you know what are the details so this was just an overview for these three visa subclasses I hope that this video was helpful for you thanks for watching this video please like the video if you have if you liked it actually if you think it was helpful for you and share it with your friends if you think it can help them also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it right now